Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, okay, so I finally got to use my Langmuir Systems Crossfire Plasma Table for about a month now. I uh, had a few problems when I first started out. Um, some of it was user error, some was actually the system. Uh, but overall, very pleased with it and kind of want to show you real quick kind of the, some of the things that I've done um, and maybe it might help you out if you get one of these. Uh, one of the first purchases that I got for the system was the water table. When I originally ordered it, I did not get it, and I wish I would have, um, because I had a bad problem of all my material, uh, especially the thin stuff or heavy stuff, pretty much any of it, uh, was warping pretty bad just from the heat transfer that was going through the material. So once I put the water system in, eh, it makes a mess with all the water, but it keeps the dust down, and uh, it stopped my material from warpage. So if you do buy one of these systems, I would highly recommend one of these. Now one of the things I did, um, I got tired of filling it up with a hose and then draining it out into a bucket. Uh, I made my kind of on auto fill system. Uh, you'll find online a lot of other guys were doing the same exact thing. Um, and the, the one I did was pretty cheap. Well, I had some hose laying around, I got a small uh, fountain pump, I had some uh, Tupperware bin hanging around. Honestly, in the whole kind of water circulation transfer system, I've got, I don't know, maybe 40 bucks in the whole thing. Um, I'll show you real quick here uh, what I did. Okay, underneath here, uh, you'll see a uh, Rubbermaid storage bin, which I use. That collects all my water. Uh, underneath, I ran from their drain plug. I just got a small little uh, uh, ball pitcock uh, to let the water flow through. Collects all down inside of this Rubbermaid. And the hose you'll see back there on the other end, uh, that's where the uh, small water fountain uh, pump is inside here. And that goes back up around to the top and it shoots all out here into the table. So all I have to do is plug the fountain in real fast, sucks it out of there, dumps it right back in here. So I'll show you real quick how that works. Nice clean water coming out of there. Uh, everything is settled on the bottom of the uh, Tupperware bin. And it fills up fairly fast. Uh, I believe the pump that I have is a 450 gallon per minute pump. I think that's what it was. Um, and Honestly, this thing fills up in less than five minutes, so that's perfect for what I need. And there you have it. Already filled up, ready to go. So definitely do that. Get yourself in there. That will just save you a little bit of run around. Um, but eventually, when the Tupperware gets filled up with enough junk, it's just a matter of sliding it out, you know, hosing it out, cleaning it up, and then you're ready to go. All right, so I didn't have any storage really anywhere to put anything, so I built this shelf. It was super simple. Um, I used a inch and a half by inch and a half angle iron. Just kind of measured the inside diameter for everything. As you can see, it goes around, and then I used a piece of expanded metal. Um, again, something I had laying around, but even if you had to buy it, it's not that expensive. Uh, welded everything up, uh, drilled through the stands, put a couple bolts through, went with three-eighths, um, did it on all four corners and now I'm able to hold all my stuff. So I got my Viper Cut 30 uh, sits on there. I also have my Cut 40 uh, which I use to um, cut kind of all the extra pieces off um, from the skeletons, from the metal and stuff. Um, just be careful because you don't want to be cutting that on the actual table because uh, it's one of the high frequency plasma cutters if you got an extra one because you'll fry all your circuitry. So, uh, so remember, water table and get yourself a shelf. Uh, easy modifications. Uh, next thing I did was the laptop stand. Uh, it was nice to get it out of the way because before I was putting everything here on the table, which was fine, but you know, I kind of wanted to get it out of the way. I wanted one big unit uh, to kind of work on its own. Uh, I just used the FireShare file that I got off of Langmuir Systems. Uh, I like it. One complaint though, I don't like how short this is. I wish it would have went up a little taller. Um, only reason I run into Let's get the, this out of the way. Would have been nice to, after everything is folded up, to kind of put it over top, um, but I run into this. So I think down the road I'm just going to make a small extension uh, just to go up on top over here so it goes up, just to get it out of the way, just because it's a little bit of a nuisance when I'm kind of working in the garage. But other than that, that's pretty cool. All right, I did have a couple issues with the system when I first started out with it. Um, Again, there was some user stuff, just kind of learning the system, a little bit of a learning curve, but I did figure that out. But there was some actual problems with the circuit board. Uh, I had a problem with the, uh, the plasma cutter. It would fire, uh, air would blow out for its post, and then it would just never shut the air off, which means it wouldn't fire again. So 
Uh, what it ended up being was either one of two things. Uh, there was a circuit board that wasn't carrying enough voltage, which they had me test. And then uh, there was a relay, which was an issue. But the best part about it, uh, I contacted them, told them what was going on, ran the test, they took the numbers, and they immediately sent out uh, new price, or excuse me, new parts right away. So I uh, was about two weeks of being down, but that was because it took one week to get one part to me and then one week to the other. But uh, they were super fast to respond, didn't really screw around, and got it out to me uh, unbelievably fast. And, you know, since I got those plugged in, it was super simple. Boom, machine fired up, and it's been flawless. So uh, I'm going to show you a quick test cut on here. i got some stuff i got to cut out, so let's, uh, let's see how it works. There you go. Cuts pretty simple. Not too much uh, dross on the back. Um, that's stuff that you can kind of fine tune as you're going through. But oh no, very cool. Uh, last thing, uh, the software that I used. Um, I use the Mach 3, which they recommend. Um, look, it's super simple. It does what it needs to do. Honestly, if I had to be nitpicky about it, um, the graphics look like they're from the early 90s. Uh, but I do know Mach 4 looks a lot better. Now, one thing I will say, uh, they recommend that you use Fusion 360 and to do all your kind of designing and stuff like that. And it works, but it's, I don't know, it has too many problems. I don't really like it, so I ended up using uh, Sheet Cam, which I really like. Uh, it's super simple. Um, I do all my drawing in Adobe Illustrator just because I got a graphic design background, so it works. But sheet, sheet Cam is nice because I just bring a program in, and boom, it sets it up. Uh, there's no too many breaks in the operations. Um, I'm always getting errors and warnings when I'm using Fusion 360. So uh, I think I ended up paying 150 bucks for Sheet Cam, so I think it was well worth the money. So if you get tired of using Fusion 360, check into Sheet Cam. Um, like I said, for 150 bucks, uh, why not? It's super simple, so. All right, there you go. Uh, super fast, quick review. Um, overall, I like it. If you're a hobbyist, uh, I think it's gonna work great for you. Or if you got a small shop and you're cutting a lot of small parts, um, I think it'll work great. Um, if you got a few extra bucks, bump up from the Razor Weld uh, 30i, which is what I have, which will do up to quarter inch. Uh, go to the 45 and then it'll get you up to half inch. Um, just give you a little more versatility um, down the road I might get one but for right now the 30 works great for what I'm doing so uh, great product works awesome uh, a couple small things here and there thankfully their customer service is fantastic so uh, if you're thinking about getting one I highly recommend it so go for it all right thanks for watching